for the pasta, it really does taste a lot like um, good old tuna casserole. Because you know how that was made like with canned cream of mushroom soup? Well, this is made with cream as well. You're going to make a very simple sauce of white wine or dry vermouth. Vermouth is wine. It's fortified wine. It's wine that sits with herbs. Anything with seafood, traditionally, uh, if you use dry vermouth, it removes the smell of seafood from your house. So if you cook a lot of fish, buy dry vermouth. You can also substitute dry white wine. If you just never drink wine in your home, you could also use just a little chicken stock in, in your sauce. We're gonna start with good quality tuna. It's very important when you buy fresh seafood or canned or jarred tuna to look and make sure that it says somewhere on the packaging that it is sustainable. Um, it is a perfect protein, it can save the planet Earth, but we all have to make sure that there's still fish in the sea to catch, you know, for the next generation. So please make sure you're using sustainable tuna. For every one pound of pasta, and I'm gonna use ziti regate or ziti with limes, um, for every one pound of pasta, you're going to use 12 ounces or so, about three quarters of a pound, drained weight of tuna. So you're getting three ounces of tuna per person. So that'll give you a lot of protein. Whenever you're cooking pasta, uh, especially dried pasta, you bring the, a large pot of water to a full boil, add the pasta first, then add salt. You must add copious amounts of salt. It should taste like seawater. It's the only chance you get to flavor the pasta itself. You should also wait for the water to boil first because if you put salt, especially coarse salt or kosher salt, into water that isn't boiling, it will sink to the bottom of your pots and scar them. It'll scar the bottom of the pot. So when it's boiling, salt the water, cook your pasta. Um, over here, two hour, uh, 12 ounces drained weight of uh, Italian tuna um, and four large cloves of garlic that we cooked in olive oil. I added half a cup of dry vermouth, that's dry fortified white wine. And to that, I added one cup of cream and a nice pinch of chili flakes. So we're going to, Chop up, oh, a fat handful of the green olives. And we're gonna chop up, oh, a couple tablespoons of our drained capers here. If you get capers in salt, of course you soak those and rinse them several times before you use them and chop them up. If you've got them in brine, just drain off the brine. And whenever I buy olives, whatever the recipe says I need, if you buy them bulk, you know, from the, the bins at the grocery store, you buy anything in bulk, of course, it's, it's a better bargain than when you pay for it in a jar. But I always buy, oh, a couple of handfuls extra, because if you like olives, because they have salt and fat, you're gonna eat them. <laughs> and you'll need double the amount you think you're going to need for your uh, casserole. Now, we don't usually, um, in Italian uh, cuisine, put uh, together grated cheese and seafood. We usually top uh, things with, that are made with seafood with breadcrumbs, but this is a cream sauce. So you can put cheese anywhere you want in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a weird uh, recipe actually because you don't really see cream um, so much with seafood ever in, in Italian cooking. But this one is a, is a classic. It's, it's legit and it's delish and it's easy and you can add cheese. That, I sounded like Cookie Monster. <sighs> yeah. C is for cookies, Cookie Monster, but C is also for cheese. <laughs> so um, to finish the dish, I also add a little bit of thyme, nice fresh thyme, and a little bit of grassy flat leaf parsley. And all these go in right at the end. So we're making a Sicilian style creamy tuna pasta dish. It's got lots of Sicilian green olives. It's got the salty capers in there. I just added the starchy cooking water to our cream and vermouth based sauce. A little bit of chili flake running through. And as I said, since it's a cream sauce, we get to break all of our rules and add Parmigiano cheese. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Honestly, if you love tuna casserole from back in the day, make this. It's way quicker. It's not all mushy. It didn't come out of a can. And man, it is addictive. Yeah. So good. Ooh.